We all know Haiti is going through one hell of a crisis. For years, the country has battled a devastating cocktail of dire issues like political unrest, economic instability, and natural disasters. It has also been taken over by gangs, and currently, a UN-backed mission led by Kenya is even in the country to help curb the gang violence. The multidimensional crisis has forced Haitians to flee to neighboring countries like Jamaica, Cuba, and the Dominican Republic. But now, in a move that has sparked international concern, the Dominican Republic has announced plans to deport up to 10,000 Haitians per week. Why is this happening? And is this move justifiable? Stick around, because in today's video, you will get answers to these questions and many more. On Wednesday, October 2nd, 2024, the Dominican Republic officially announced that it would begin large-scale deportations of illegal Haitians in the country, expelling up to 10,000 of them a week. Homero Figura, a government spokesperson, told reporters that a decision was made in response to an excess of Asian migrants in the Dominican Republic, which shares the island of Hispaniola with Haiti. According to Figuria, officials have witnessed an uptick in Asian migrants as a UN-backed effort in Haiti to combat gang violence falters. He stated that officials had also agreed to tighten border surveillance and control, although he did not disclose specifics. Last year, the Dominican Republic deported more than 174,000 people it claims are Asians, and in the first half of this year, it evicted at least 67,000 more. This announcement comes just one week after the Dominican Republic's president, Abinadar, addressed the UN General Assembly, warning that drastic measures would follow if the international mission in Haiti fails. The mission, led by nearly 400 Kenyan police officers and supported by small contingents from Jamaica and Belize, has been hampered by a lack of resources and personnel. The U.S. has raised concerns about the mission's sustainability, urging the U.N. to send a peacekeeping force instead. But despite the problems with the U.N.-backed mission in Haiti, many activists still feel the Dominican Republic hasn't been fair to illegal Haitians living in the country by sending them back to unstable Haiti. In fact, the administration of Dominican President Luis Abinadar has faced harsh criticism for his treatment of Haitians and those of Asian descent, many of whom have lived in the Dominican Republic for generations. Human rights activists accuse the government of perpetrating discrimination and violations against these communities. Abinadar, however, has dismissed these claims, asserting that his government has not maltreated or mistreated any Asians. The Dominican Republic's decision to deport 10,000 Asians weekly highlights a complex ethical dilemma balancing humanitarian responsibility with national sovereignty. On one hand, many Asians are fleeing extreme political instability, gang violence, and economic collapse, seeking refuge in the Dominican Republic. Their presence underscores a deep moral obligation to assist vulnerable populations. On the other hand, the Dominican government argues that it cannot bear the consequences of Haiti's ongoing crisis exacerbated by the faltering UN-backed mission. It faces pressure to protect its resources and security by controlling immigration. The tension raises a profound question. Who is right in this situation? The Dominican Republic in safeguarding its borders and resources, or the Asians seeking safety and survival amidst the chaos? As the Dominican Republic ramps up deportations, the world will be watching. Can regional cooperation and international support help tackle the root causes of Haiti's crisis? Or are we on the verge of witnessing an even greater humanitarian catastrophe in the Caribbean? The fate of tens of thousands of Haitians hangs in the balance, and a decision made in the coming weeks could shape the future of the island of Hispaniola for years to come. Do you think the Dominican Republic's decision to deport 10,000 illegal Haitians every week is justified? Or is it too harsh on Asians? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay informed on Haiti's crisis and other developments. Until next time, it's bye for now.
My name is Arafat Pizza, and this is the New Africa Channel.